Gospel of June the 14th, 2014, a reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus said to his disciples, You have heard that it was said to your ancestors, Do not take a false oath, but make good to the Lord all that you bow. But I say to you, Do not swear at all, not by, not by heaven, for it is God's throne, not by the earth, for, for it is his footstool, nor by Jerusalem, for it is the city of the great king. Do not swear by your head, for you cannot make a single hair white or black. Let your yes mean yes, and your no mean no. Anything more is from the evil one. Gospel of the Lord, praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Today, as we walk into the ordinary time, we are getting further and further deeper into the chapter 5 of Matthew and all the Beatitudes, all that that makes you happy, that makes you not only happy but whole in the way of God. And today the Lord is asking us to be humble and to be aware where do, do the words that we pronounce come from? Lest we are fooled and allow the evil one to put words in our mouth. First of all, he says, he reminds us of an old saying, of an old law. You heard, it was said, do not take, do not take a false oath, but make good to the Lord all that you vow. Back then, and even today, the custom sometimes is that you swear to God something or to one another when you try to convince that, I don't know who are you trying to convince, perhaps yourself or others that you are going to do something. But the Lord does not want us to be bound by that, to be bound by that. Rather, He says, go easy on you. And he tells us the reasons. Do not swear at all. Don't swear by heaven, for it is God's throne. It is not yours or mine. We cannot dispose of heaven at all. It's not ours. We have no claim on it. And no power, certainly. Do not swear by the earth, for it is his footstool, God's footstool. And even more, or in the same line, it is not yours, not even what you claim your own. It is God's in the first place, because He created it. Do not swear by Jerusalem, because it's not yours either. And then He humbles us even more. He says, do not swear by your head. For you cannot make a single hair white or black. Nowadays, we could claim that there are tints and, you know, um, those um, paintings that we use on the hair so that we can paint our hair in a certain way, blonde or black or gray or whatever, or red. But that's not what the Lord meant. We can paint, we can certainly paint our hair, but then after a while, if it's black, it will come out black. If it's white, it will come out white. What the Lord is saying is that you cannot change the color of the hair from where it's going, from where it's growing, as you cannot change the time of your life. It is a fixture in the sense of that law, of that physical law, of that time, of, of that biological law that exists. And only by the will and the strength of God it can be changed. He can change it. He set it up so He can, but not you or me. So we, we are not even allowed or advised to swear even by our own head. Then the Lord says, let your, let your yes mean yes and your no mean no. Be humble. Be simple. 
Everything else comes from the evil one. Many times we might have the temptation to lie or to try to convince someone that you or, or I am going to do something. Or perhaps we want to convince ourselves or commit ourselves. And that's when we swear. But the Lord says, do not bind yourself in that way. Just be simple and try your best to comply with when you say yes, try to comply with the yes. And just perhaps think about it carefully so that when you say no, you really mean it. And then life will be much easier. Let us follow the advice of the Lord. It's an advice and it's also a command that we should not put more words than needed in our mouth, lest we become far apart from here, from Him easier. And may the Lord, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit bless you all, brothers. God bless you.